Okay, this is going to be a quick overview of the five forms of a verb. Not tenses, but forms. Every verb has five forms, although some of them may be the same in certain verbs, like the past and past participle can sometimes be uh, the same with certain verbs. But we're going to look at these five forms the base form, the S form, the past, the past participle, and the present participle. I'm using the verb take as the example here. So the base form is take. The S form takes. The past took. The past participle taken. And the present participle taking. We're going to talk for a few minutes about how these different forms are used in English. What are their purposes? For the base form, a couple that you want to remember are the infinitive. The infinitive is to plus the base form. To take is the infinitive. Also, after a modal verb, modal verbs must, may, can, could, would, might, should. There's about 20 or so you've probably learned. And after a modal verb, you will use the base form. You must take the test. She might take some medicine. Also, after the auxiliary, do. Do you take the bus to school? She doesn't take the bus to school. Did she take the bus to school? So the auxiliary verb do, do, does, did. After that, which is used in questions and negatives, you want to have the base form of a verb. Now, the next two are very simple because there is only one purpose for each one. The S form is only used as the third person singular in the simple present. She, he, it. She takes the bus to school every day. Simple present, usually for a regular action, maybe every day, maybe sometimes, a regular action in present time. The past is used for the simple past. When you want to talk about an action and you have a defined time in the past, a time that does not continue until the present, but a defined time in the past. You will use the simple past. Yesterday she took the bus. The ones we will focus on the most here are the past participle and the present participle. The past participle, there are three uses we are going to talk about here. The first is as a perfect tense marker. So we want to use the past participle with the auxiliary verb have to form the perfect tenses. She has taken this test already. She had already taken the test. When you use the have auxiliary verb, you want to use a past participle to form a perfect verb tense. You also use the past participle to form a passive verb. This one is used with the auxiliary be. The test is taken by everyone. Using the be auxiliary and the past participle taken to show that the action is being received. Thirdly, as an adjective, taken is one that would not normally be used as an adjective. Let me give an example 
with the verb scratch. So scratch. And let's talk about cats because cats like to scratch and they also like to be scratched. So we could say If we're going to use the past participle, it's a regular verb. So here's a sentence, a scratched cat is a happy cat. So the image here is that somebody is scratching the cat and the cat is mm, feeling good, okay? It has a passive meaning because the cat is not doing the action, the cat is receiving the action. Let's look at the present participle, taking. It is used in progressive tenses with the auxiliary verb be. She is taking the test. That means that the action is not finished. So any progressive tense will use the auxiliary be plus the present participle. It is also used as a gerund. Taking tests can be very stressful. The gerund is basically the verb in a noun form to use talking about the action or the activity. So this is used as a subject or an object in a sentence, gerund form. And finally, adjective, just like here, except this was a passive meaning and this is an active meaning. So let's change this from passive to active. And we will say a scratching cat is a happy cat. So now you imagine the cat is doing the scratching, maybe on a scratching post or maybe on your favorite blanket. Mm -hmm. So this is an active meaning because the cat is doing the action, not receiving it. So these are the five forms of a verb that you want to know how to use in their various purposes.